Legate, I have some ideas for how we might use the resources we've captured. Oh, hey, Legate. You... Need something? How can I help you? Indeed we do. She's an impressive woman. Beautiful, and with a natural authority. Right, of course. It's my understanding that she is greatly beloved by the people. She'll be a powerful asset for our conquest. All is well, I hope. Salvete legionari. Hey, what do you need? I like her. She's charming and sophisticated, but suddenly she is very brash and mean. Oh, hey, Legate. Would you and your Praetorian guards spar with my Conturbanian? It would be an honor. I am ready to go when it is time. We have abducted the Queen of Egypt, who is also a goddess. She was imprisoned by her husband, the Pharaoh, who is incidentally also a god. I believe when people say that you are famous for punching above your weight, this is what they mean. When every man fights for himself, you must make alliances. That is how the arena works. Yet sometimes when you are allied, you forget only one man can win. Without batting an eye, if she has to. An ally can always turn into a foe. Better to kill your allies before they get the chance. Domine. I don't think so. Not yet. At this level of politics, loyalty is something no one can afford to possess or count on. To be honest, we're in a mess here. 
Loyalties will shift constantly and without mercy. A failure of anticipation is very likely to prove fatal. We must constantly pay attention to every single word and gesture. All is well, I hope. Salway. Away, Legate. Hey there, lover boy. Of course not. And you'd be a fool if your intention is to place your trust in her. That woman is a predator. Without a doubt, she's using you. Do not fall for her tricks. Do we, though? Or is that what she wants you to think?
Welcome to the Court of Heaven, the most important annual meeting of the elders and the reason for our presence. It is an honor to have you among us. The court assembles up there in the big tent. Feel free to take a look around. We will be waiting for you. I have tools and I take iron, I sell iron. I sell you things others want to get rid of. If you want unwanted things, you're at the right tent. What are you? A scholar of metal? I know metal better than anyone else. If I say it's iron, then it is iron. End of discussion. Look at what I have to offer and tell me what attracts your curiosity. Dignity is what you make of it. From the earliest time I can remember, I was fascinated by metal. As a grown man, I am still obsessed with it. I gather metal and sell it to those who value it. I am as undignified as my customers, and I am proud of it. Did you think I was trying to deceive you? What I sell here is true metal and true metal only. Have you seen these weighted blades? They are of high quality. And maybe you need some tools intended for javelins. Great craftsmanship there. But since you're Roman, you might be interested in this old helmet. It's a bit dented, but I'm sure you'll like it. A fair price for a quality product. Anything else? Look at them and decide. A good decision. Anything else? A desperate treasure hunter sold it to me near Utica. It's ugly and battered indeed. Uh, I took it off his hands out of pity. Domine, look at these inscriptions. P. C. S. Huh? Publius Cornelius Scipio. By the limping leg of Hephaestus, this is the helmet of the famous general Scipio Africanus. An item of infinite value. It's a fancy hat, Cineros. Let's not raise our voices too much. <laughs> that is impossible to say, but there is 
no doubt in my mind. The design of this helmet is from the right time period. Perhaps he gave it away in an exchange of gifts after the Battle of Sama. Scipio Africanus was without a doubt among the greatest strategists of all time. This helmet is a priceless artifact. That sounds like a fair price to me. I hope you will find some use for this old thing. Do you want anything else from my stall? I have a drink for salutations and good day to you, travelers. You look like people of refined taste. Am I wrong? Look closely then, and by all means, taste and smell too. We offer all sorts of exquisite flavors. Feel free to browse and tell me if you find something interesting. Well, I would not say better, but they're certainly different. It is not only a matter of different grapes, but also of the environment and the weather. Such things are a matter of taste, but I believe one must taste many things in life. One must explore oneself. Uh, don't you agree? In that case, I envy you, my friend. We shall drink to you. I don't have a lot of interesting grapes for you. Uh, this year's vintage was rather fragile. Fortunately, that usually means we have some of the best vinegar. And could I perhaps direct your attention to our excellent local honey, in case you want to produce some of your Roman malsam? Our honey is unique. The hive is built inside a tree that is hot. It doesn't. Uh, you have a sharp eye for quality product. It isn't. The famous Roman everyone's been talking about. Welcome to the only store you will ever want to visit at the Court of Heaven. My store, though humble by your standards, is at your service.
I am flattered. I know my store pales in comparison to the ones in Rome, but in court of heaven you will find no better place to trade. That much I can assure you. Tell me, what do you desire? I mean within the boundaries of what I can provide you with at this stall, of course. I can't grant you immortality... yet. <laughs> and I know what you're thinking, but trust me, you don't want to go there. My husband is a jealous man. On the contrary, it helps my business. Everyone underestimates me and pays the price. Literally, in most cases. I'm not afraid of anyone. They are afraid of me. Of course. There is no way not to be. I do not hail from any tribe you would ever have heard of, however. My tribe is quite small, but we have good relations to both Lumia's tribe and Udad's. Will that be all? Stop and taste the- I knew you'd be back! Our honey is unique. I knew you'd be satisfied. You have a sharp eye for... <laughs> Great! You will not be disappointed. It always does. Am I wrong to assume you need more than just one flask? Your order shall be delivered as soon as possible. Romans, the spirits must have led you here to my little corner. How fortuitous. I need a little bit of your time and your guidance. Would you be willing to extend your helping hand? That is precisely why I need you. The guidance I seek is for lands beyond this one. You are a warrior, are you not? If death is what you deal, it must stand to reason that you'd know death and the lands of the dead. My name is Axil. I am what you might call a philosopher in your language. Though to my own people, I am a shaman. My life's work is to study and explore the many lands beyond death and how they vary from culture to culture. That is one of the questions I am trying to explore. Is it truly based on what we believe? Or where we are born? Or to whom? I myself am inherently fascinated by the idea of these different afterlives. But when I finish this book, I hope it will serve as a kind of travel guide.
You understand me then. On the matter of transitioning from one life to the next, there can never truly be certainty. Besides, as scholars, we must seek the truth for no other reason than to enlighten ourselves. I have collected much knowledge of our own afterlife, but I have never had the opportunity to learn what awaits Romans after death. Precisely, I have interviewed several scholars on the subject of the afterlife, but those were all of Africa. It is my theory that one's afterlife depends on the gods one believes in. I simply want to know about what kind of afterlife Roman gods provide. need more than that. I'll need detailed descriptions. You have the look of a trustworthy individual, and I know Romans are proud of their virtues. Is it not so? I may later enlist the help of another Roman who would prove you wrong and reveal that you have deceived me. In that case, I would at least know what part of the afterlife Romans like to lie about. First, walk me through the typical journey of the deceased according to your culture. Imagine you are dead. What happens then? On its own? Hmm, interesting. We have to find our own way to the Duat. But they say the path is different for each person. A river? Now that sounds pleasant. But do you carry your own money to the underworld? We also believe it is best to bury the dead with their belongings. That way they can live a good life in Siket Aru. Assessors. We have 42 of them. It is best to know their names and the sins they have not committed. Once you pass their judgment, Anubis weighs your heart against a feather of mart. A pure heart isn't heavy. This Elysium sounds like Seket Aru. Osiris permits only the pure spirits to the field of reeds. I highly doubt that. That would certainly make my task easier, though. You are right, of course. But I have an idea. Look. This weed is called Cat's Eye. They say it will bring you to the land of the dead temporarily. It would be great if you'd try it and tell me what you saw there. Naturally, I was the first to try it myself, but I'm certain you will visit a different underworld than I. 
You should not worry. I have tried it myself multiple times, and as you see, I always came back. You are right. I happen to have some Roman denarii on me. Please, take these with you. Nothing to say to you. Maybe you should ask better questions. Obvious questions produce obvious answers. I am you. You were exactly one lifetime ago, but you are not a very good girl. have to live through nine lives. We die and then we are reborn. But a wicked cat is reborn as a lowly human. I am you in a past life. Do you remember dying? Most people remember such important events in their life. It is not you who is dead. A very good question. Do you even remember your purpose? You seem quite healthy. Is there? Maybe you are standing in their path and barring them from pursuing their purpose. I may seem wise to you, but wisdom comes with age and identity. I know you because I am you, 
Or rather, I was you in a past life. I do not enjoy life as a human. But you can save me by leading a good life and not causing pain. Only then will we be reborn as a cat. Unlikely, but stranger things have happened. But you do. In pursuing your ambitions, you hurt those in your path. You must ask yourself if it's all worth it. And when that's done, you will lie around all day and enjoy life. You can do that now. Do it every day. The only way you can stop hurting people is to leave the land of the living. You may stay here if you want and trade places with me. That way I will be reborn as a cat and you will be a good man. I know. This is all very confusing for you, but let me make it simpler. I shall present you with two doors. One of them leads to the Elysium of Reeds, the other back to the Court of Heaven. Think about it. Figure out which one feels right and go where your heart leads you. You are back. Quickly, tell me what you saw before the visions fade. Giant cat. Ah, that's bizarre. Thank you, my dear friend. With your help, People all around the world will have a better afterlife experience. Please, accept this amulet as a small token of my immense gratitude. I hope to see you again when my book is finished.
There are many dangers in the desert. My goods will protect you from some of them. Along came a warrior, but know this, not all foes fight fair. A blade may not fell you, but venom might. Do you need protection against that eventuality? It takes a wise man to recognize wisdom. Thus only by recognizing wisdom, we are wise. I have a cure against venom. You should be prepared. Do you agree? That may be because I am not a merchant. I sell, but not for profit. What I sell is not easy to create, it costs me. Thus, it is only fair that it costs you too, should you choose to make use of it. That is a wise choice. Your life may not be measured with denarii. Smells like apples and peaches, and tastes like almond and dried locust wings. Simply put, it's a marvel of potion crafting. You will feel sad when the bottle is empty. By the ancestors, it's just ordinary wine. Go sleep it off before you make a fool of yourself. Greetings, Romans! Or how do you say it? Selwete. 
I am Galusa the Great. How may I help you? Isn't it obvious? Hmm? Not only am I incredibly handsome, but I also sell the best wares in the land. I would like to think of myself as a purveyor of uncommon delicacies. Not all delicacies are edible, yet my entire inventory is delicious. Here and there, in this profession, you get to travel all around the world. Procuring items is a form of art. I can find you anything you are looking for, given enough time or resources, of course. Everything you can see in my stalls, the most peculiar spices, and obviously, the best sewi Nazemones has to offer. What do you need? Ah, the moment I saw you, I knew what kind of connoisseur you are. Unfortunately, that sewa is not for sale. That birthmark by Zeus and Pythagoras. My sister. Finally, I found you, sister. Restrain your sewas, Roman. I told you, that sewa is not for sale. I apologize. Still, my point stands. She is not for sale, for she was already purchased. The sky is gone from her eyes. What did they do to her? Magister, I don't know what I should do. What do I say? You, what are you doing to me? I am your brother. I have been looking for you for a long time, sister. But everything will be fine now. We are together again. I do not know who you are. Please, don't touch me. I do not belong to you. She doesn't recognize me, Legate. Look at her. She's afraid of talking. They tortured her. They blinded her. I do not know what kind of trick this is, but I have no brothers. Please let go. Your insistence will be bad for me. name. I, I do not know her name. I do not remember it. It's been, it's been a long time. What do you want to do, Discipule? Your actions will determine the kind of man you are. Finding her was once the purpose of my life, Magister. I am not leaving without her. Do something, Legati, or I will. Hmm. hmm. Tempting. What you're saying is you can pay me 8,000 denarii right now? Never in the history of the world has anyone paid even half that much for a Sowa. He just doesn't want to sell her. Are 
I see. You drive a hard bargain. Hmm. Deal. Selling blind Sewi is always difficult. Take her. Thank you, my friend. You can't even guess how much that means to me. I shall find a way to repay you. I would, for I am a good man. Come on, sister. I will show you your new home. Welcome back. How may I help you this time? Romans! They attacked her caravan and killed the Pharaoh's gods! She will want vengeance on her brother. Mark my words. War is coming. The Roman finally joins us in the flesh. Your reputation precedes you.
Esteemed elders, now that we are all here, our talks can begin in earnest. I have told you all of the upcoming war, of the possibility of Nazamenes being trapped between Roman legions and Egypt, and I have explained the potential advantages of an alliance with the Romans. Now is your time to ask your questions about our proposal. I'm sure many such questions burn your tongues. Why is nobody talking? Have you lost your voices? Are you all afraid of the great Roman? Cowards! That's what you are. You are a disgrace to Nazamones. It is only you who disgraces us in front of this foreigner, Wormaxan. Is it up to you to talk when your elders are silent? You confuse courage with insolence. Nobody is afraid of the Roman, but it is unwise to insult your elders. Nobody is afraid of the Romans. <laughs> I am. They've conquered Nasamones once. They rule Egypt and possibly myriad lands, the names of which I can't even begin to pronounce. One would be a fool not to fear the Romans. Run to your Roman masters with your tail between your legs then, Medu. I shall stand and fight, and if need be, die defending my people. Warmaxan, Medur, know yourselves. The ancestors are watching. Do not disrespect the court. How many troops do you need, woman? An imprecise answer. Now that is inspiring leadership. An imprecise answer is an honest one, Odad. You seem to have low expectations of Romans, Lunia. He is afraid. I fear nothing! The Roman is afraid. Am I wrong, Roman? There is no way you can advance towards Egypt without our help. You can wait for your masters to send you reinforcements, but by then it will be already too late. And what if we refuse helping you? It is not conquest you are seeking. You are trying to survive. Are you not? Indeed. Since you are not my nemesis, I should not fear you, right? As you said, he who has no fear is a fool. And honestly, it is insulting of you to think of me foolish. Does this mean you're against helping the Roman, Medor? 
I see no benefit in helping him. What do you say, Lunya? Do you have faith in him? I believe it is in our best interest to cooperate with him. The presence of this foreigner alone is an insult to the ancestors. I should slit your throat where you stand. Control yourself! He may have a temper, but he is right. You know that too. The court of heaven is for us only. I can already feel the disapproval of the ancestors. Can you now? Very well. Let us consult the ancestors then. Have you lost your mind, Izil? Are we not disgraced enough? Will you allow this foreigner to desecrate the resting place of our ancestors with his presence? That is highly unusual. I don't think the ancestors would approve. That's something the ancestors can tell us themselves, is it not? Fine. But let it be known that I'm not happy. As usual. It is settled then. We consult the ancestors. Greetings, Legate. Do you really think I am a golden wolf? Then maybe she's figuratively a goddess. <laughs> I am not. It is an amusing thought, though. Nazamanes does not have kings or queens. We do not like being ruled by other people. Some amongst us think it's necessary to have a king. 
But I believe the very concept of a monarch is against our nature. We must rule ourselves. When I was young, my hair was the color of wheat, and I am said to be as cunning as a wolf. Most of them. This year's gathering had a specific goal. We wanted to elect a king for the entirety of Nozamenes. Naturally, not all of the tribes agree. Salue legate. Is that right? Legate. You have such a strange language. I do like it, though. I apologize for the behavior of my fellow elders. We are not used to having a foreigner in the court. <laughs> I like your sense of humor. Live? <laughs> Are you always funny like this, or is it only when you're sober? They live at the ancient burial site. I believe Lunya can tell you where it is. Pray to your gods, Roman. If the ancestors are against you, I shall cut you down right there and then. And then one morning, you will just fail to wake up. Greetings, Legate. Shrine to a god of travel, no doubt. We should leave an offering, just in case. We need not answer to any barbarian gods. Do you know what this is, Legate? Free money.
please excuse me how can i help you so wait a legionary hey what do you need Our way, Legate. All is well, I hope. Our way, Legate. Who call it? Legate, help me. I need to find my sister again. She's missing. I have no idea how she even left the camp. She is blind. Looks like the girls are natural. Why would she leave, though? She was finally free. You have always assumed she'd want to be free, Bestia. Perhaps that's not what she wants. For one who knows no freedom, there is no servitude. I see. I have, indeed, never considered this. I know what I will do. I shall find her, and then kill her. That's the only way. I have learned much about life from my discussions with Sinoros. Happiness is the lack of misery. Joy is the lack of pain. I can't bring her joy or happiness. But at least I can end her pain and misery. That is not what I meant, Bestia. At least I don't think so. It is the understanding you have led me to. But if I let her live, she'll be lost forever. She will eventually succumb to her suffering and die. At least she will die on her own terms. Don't deny her that freedom. Very well. She's free to suffer then. She and I both. All is well, I hope. Good night. Hey there, lover boy. All quiet. I am ready to go when it is.
so weak. Look at you! is watching us. Show them how you fight. Too easy.
Let us unite against them!
hope we're ready for them. Oh, hey, Legate! Oh, hey, Legate! Thank you. 